Hey guys, Slimster here again. Oh, thought, sorry, <laughs> just myself in the chair. Thought I may as well carry on with Super Elast. Space Mega Force, whatever you want to call it. Um, as we remember from last time, I really, really, really struggled with that fifth boss. So hopefully, I'm going to do a bit better this time. This level, I think it was Area 6 for us, wasn't it? Um, this level is more of like, uh, what level is it? I think I want to say level 3, but I might be wrong, might be level 4. Where it's more just like a like mini bonus level to rack up points rather than an actual level. I mean, don't get me wrong, you still get hit and die, but it's not too difficult. It's where I'm going to die now, isn't it? <laughs> I want to say to the people who, if you watched my last video, or like, I want to say 16 of you, thank you, and hopefully you'll be back to watch this one. To be honest, I wouldn't care if I had zero viewers if I loved doing these. I haven't done, I haven't done game videos for ages. Like, not properly, anyway. So, hopefully it'll be, become more regular. I know I haven't done one for a while, but I've been so busy with work and stuff. That's area 6 done. I think that's halfway, I think there's, well, 11, I think, stages in the game. I remember this level being an absolute ass. Because there's these little laser things that come out of nowhere. This probably isn't the best weapon for this level either. And yeah, and you struggle to see them. It's funny how this level, if you do the um, the short game version, um, you know at the beginning it says standard or short version. This level actually features on it as like the third level, I want to say. But on this, it's the um, seventh level. And I just, I've always found that really weird because I thought on the short game it would have been one of the, um, like one of the first few levels to be on there. Does that make sense? Because obviously the short game you'd expect it to be like a demo, like an easier version. Sorry, I'm just rambling at the moment, I'm trying to concentrate. That screen really, really plays with your eyes. Just trying to dodge all the bloody mini asteroid things. I don't know what weapon would be the best for this level. That is really, really starting to hurt my eyes. Jesus Christ. I did do some research about this game. Like I said, I was going to on my last video. Um, but if I'm being brutally honest, I can't really remember what I meant. <laughs> um, oh shit, I wasn't concentrating. So, I'm afraid I can't give you too much information. Um, I do know that on the... Oh, I'm not pretty quick. Nice one. Um, I do know that the Japanese version has like a lot more cutscenes and there's actual like characters and your spaceship gets explained a lot more like I think it's a like an alien that's helping or some, something like that. Like I said I'm, I'm sorry I'm being really useless but oh shit on it. See they're those laser things that I was saying about. Sorry, Constra, oh, fuck off. Right, okay, so I'm nearly dead already. Don't worry about hitting them, just let the missiles do that, just dodge the bloody orbs. I 
wouldn't say I'm grateful for having this weapon at the moment. So I should do me a massive, massive favour. Jesus Christ, they just keep bloody coming. Oh, Jesus Christ, how I did get hit there, I'll never know. No, I don't want laser, I'm sticking, even though it's my favourite, I'm sticking with missile. See those lasers, they're like really, really quick. And you can barely see them until it's too late. Can't see what I'm doing. Don't want power shot, avoid that. Oh, I'm on level 6 anyway, I don't need the orbs. Whew. I'm trying to remember the boss for this one. I think it's the diamond. Well, it's like a diamond shape sort of thing. Oh, God, this one takes forever. Very scatter. Yeah, if I remember, this one takes a while. All these different pods open. It takes like multiple attempts to get on each one. Well, to kill each compartment. I might be barefaced lying, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens. I think it's only two attempts on each. See, with scatter shot, you should be relatively safe as long as you stick on him, because obviously, when it hit on. It's when the little orbs come out, that's when there's trouble. Okay, this is kind of a bit quicker than I remember. See, it's funny. Oh, here we go. See, that's not so bad. See, as I'm, I'm sure you're probably all aware, I'm playing this on emulator. I do have the game on Super Nintendo, but I don't have a capture card, so I've got Um, but I don't have a capture card or anything, so this is going to have to do, I'm afraid. But, um... Sorry, concentrating. Um, I'm sure that Space Megaforce, so this, the NTSC slash American version, is actually easier than the PAL version that I have, because these bosses, like there, that was over so quickly. I mean, I might be just saying this because... I don't know, I can't really remember it, but I do I do recall it being like a bit more difficult to beat the bosses. But maybe that's just I don't know. Like on um stage four on my last video, that boss that I beat there, in my opinion, that was really, really easy. And I was like, I'm definitely gonna die here. Because I was just so convinced that <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rambling again. But I'm just convinced that the PAL version is so much more difficult. Maybe it's something to do with the frame rate or something, I'm not entirely sure. Shit, I've gone on the wrong side. Because I know that. Oh, did um, I know that PAL games play it. I want to say 50 frames per second, and NTSC plays at um, 60. So I don't, I don't know how that would make much of a difference, but I, I, I don't know. It just seems like it's slightly different. But I'm going to stop talking about it now because I'm probably doing your heads in. <laughs> You're probably like Brooksy Sharp, mate. 
that's normally what my mates say when I talk to them. Oh. This, I think, is the boss, if I get to it, where, um, the, it's like a, sorry, my sleep. <laughs> it's like a sort of diamondy sort of shape, I think. Look. I'm hoping you'll see it, because I'm hoping not to die. And to be fair, even if I do die, Jesus Christ, oh shit, wasn't looking, I was looking at the friggin' laser. I needed to do that. I hate having to waste bombs. Oh, and again, I was in a bad situation there. Um, yeah, sorry, so even if I do die, because I'm recording these live, so I'm hoping it'll only be two videos that I'm gonna do, and then this whole place will be finished. But, I'm just gonna keep going until I beat the game. And if I keep dying, then you're just gonna have to keep watching until I get to the end. Using bombs. <laughs> oh shit, if I remember, I needed the scatter shot for this boss as well. Laser's actually helping quite a lot on this. <laughs> Scattershot wasn't my best friend earlier. Go on, it's your face! <laughs> Get the fucking ball! Oh, toss her! Up there. Someone help me. <laughs> oh, that reminds me actually. Do you guys think this game would have been like like a decent if multiplayer if you oh, sorry that's my phone. Like a decent multiplayer? If you could, I mean, like, um, I suppose the nearest comparison that I can think of off the top of my head would be, like, 1940, is it 1942? 1941? 1943? I don't know. The plane game, oh, shit. Alright, here we go. You know which game I mean, though, don't you guys? The, um, the, like, World War II fighter planes things. Shit on it! See, once again, that just seems really easy. Because I remember that being a lot harder. Another one of these like mini levels. Although if I remember, once again see, because I'm so used to playing the power version, if I remember the boss on this was a bit of an ass. Oh shit. No, he is still a bit of an ass. Get level six, please. Oh, come on, I must be there by now. There we go. Just as a 
green orb appears. So, I don't know if you guys know, but the green orb means that you automatically go up a level if you get it. fly back to Earth, we see that level 1 has, uh, sorry, the jungles in level 1 have been destroyed or something's happened. I might be wrong. Yeah, here we go. I remember this level being an absolute, well, <laughs> I remember all of them being an arse to be fair, but that's what makes a good challenging game, isn't it? Pardon me, sorry. Jesus, didn't mean to do that, I wasn't concentrating. There was a bomb up there, I missed it. I don't know if I should be. Look at the orb. See, in my opinion, laser is crap unless it's on the um, level six. on it. Bollocks. Wasn't a lot I could do there really. When you die, yeah, great, you get three bombs, but you don't, you, can, well, you, you have to use them straight away, otherwise you're fucked, basically. Later. Jesus, I'm only level three at the moment. I think it's level 4, you can regenerate, well not regenerate, sorry, if you get hit, you only go down, you don't actually die. Once again, I might be wrong, I do remember reading about it, like I say, I kind of vaguely remember a bit of my research. But yeah, no, I apologise for being bloody useless in that respect. I 
remember this level being a bit of a pain. I don't remember it being this bloody difficult. Oh no. Scatter shot, please hurry up. yellow triangles which means I can just come straight back. <laughs> oh it's a difficult version of this boss on it. Again. Oh weapon's not really strong enough. Well, this could be good night, ladies and gentlemen, from me. <laughs> just dodge, just dodge, let the bloody <laughs> missiles do the work. Alright, so I'm taking a level 3 scatter shot into the final level. Oh, bollocks, I didn't want that. 
seen someone do a um, a perfect run as they call it where he didn't get hit once on YouTube. I was like, oh here we go. And I just thought to myself this guy clearly has like fuck, fuck off. Like has far too much time on his hands. Shit on it, I'm in big trouble now. opinion one of the most epic explosion sounds in video game history right there. If you haven't played this game before, I strongly recommend checking it out any way you can, as Snez Drunk says. Um, I know I sound like a broken record constantly saying the same thing, but I'm pretty sure the PAL version is tougher than that. This one seems to be a bit more forgiving, as in, like, the hit detection, it wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's off, but maybe the hitbox is a bit smaller. I've noticed it when I was playing this a couple of times when I got an orb or an upgrade, it gives you like a invincibility for like half, half a second, maybe a second most. So if you hit an orb as you're going towards a weapon, it's a good way to try and get out of trouble. 
but obviously it's a big, it's a big gamble. Oh, off he goes. We saved the world. If you guys want to do your own videos, try and beat my high score. Go for it. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to do next. Alright, I love you all. Bye.